Middle East is a home to some of the most aggressive architectural wonders. Burj Khalifa, Public Investment Fund Tower, Central Point Tower, Burj Al Arab. But the Arabian sheikhs are in no mood to stop. Saudi Arabia under its tagline Vision 2030 came up with another mind-bending concept advertised as a getaway to another world. The line, Neom, and Oxagon, with a cumulative cost of more than 1.2 trillion dollars were not enough. Saudi Arabia is pushing the boundaries with a new kind of city called New Muraba, centered around a cubicle building that can confide 20 Empire State buildings dubbed the Mukab. The promises sound too flashy. Will Saudis ever be able to turn their imaginations into a reality? The development spanning almost 12 square miles in the southwest of Riyadh, a city home to seven people, is poised to alter the city's skyline forever. The grand and majestic new Muraba will be established at the meeting of the King Salman and King Khalid Roads. Spanning over an immense area of 19 square kilometers, it shall be a haven for hundreds of thousands of residents. Within the grand walls of the city, there shall be more than 104,000 luxurious residential units, 9,000 opulent hotel rooms, and over 980 square meters of exquisite retail space. Apart from being a new home for the elite, the Muraba will also serve as a hub of learning and culture with a museum, a prestigious technology and design university, a multi-purpose theater, and more than 80 entertainment and cultural venues. A 15-minute walking radius facilitated by its own internal transport system will make the inner city movement convenient. At the heart of this city will rest the Mukab. Mukab means cube in Arabic, so the Saudis are literally calling this wonder a cube. Stretching 400 meters in X, Y, and Z axes, the Mukab is set to become the largest inner city building in the world. The Mukab will have three layered structures. Right at the core will rest a halter-skelter shaped tower, where people will roam around and dwell. Over this tower will be a dome-shaped structure responsible for providing the immersive experience as Saudis dubbed in marketing pitch. Courtesy of this dome, visitors can virtually sense the ocean's depth or even the grandeur of stepping into another planet. This establishment is being touted as the world's first of its kind, boasting cutting-edge holographic technology for a truly digital and virtual experience. Saudi Arabia has already partnered up with tech giants like Nvidia and Oracle for other Vision 23 projects. These companies will also be responsible for building the immersive experience Mukab promises. Mukab's exterior cubicle layer will be built using a contemporary version of the Najdi architectural style. This style is well suited for constructing buildings in desert regions due to its adaptability to the local climate. The outer layer will also be purposefully designed for making inhabitable areas on the outside. On the roof, there will be a garden. Official claims extend to the idea of constructing a lake on the roof as well. Upon the release of this concept, Saudi administration faced an unforeseen backlash. There is a belief among some individuals that the structure of Mukha bears a striking resemblance to that of the Kaaba, a cube-shaped building in Mecca that is considered the holiest site in Islam. Every year, millions of Muslims make the pilgrimage to Mecca for Hajj, during which they perform circumambulation around the Kaaba. As a result, some followers of the religion are expressing concerns about the similarities between the two structures. It should be noted that the Saudi government has not made any official statements regarding any connection between Mukab and the Kaaba. The question that entangles our mind is will Mukab ever be built? The first and foremost challenge is the country's limited technological capabilities, particularly in emerging fields such as artificial intelligence, virtual reality, robotics, machine learning and renewable energy. While Saudi Arabia has made significant progress in developing its technology infrastructure in recent years, it still lags many other countries in terms of innovation and entrepreneurship. To overcome these challenges, Saudi Arabia has been actively seeking partnerships with leading technology companies and investors around the world. By partnering with these entities, the country hopes to leverage their expertise and resources to drive innovation and entrepreneurship and achieve its Vision 2030 goals. However, the VR and holographic technology is currently not as mature to envision a project like Mukab. It would require building a huge curved LED screen 20 times bigger than the one currently being built in MSG Sphere at Las Vegas. The lake promised at the roof would require the whole building to be water sealed to protect all the tech inside the facade shaped layer, and the structure will have to be built strong enough to withstand the weight of millions of gallons of water. But that's not it. Saudi Arabia has an unrealistic vision to bring in $100 billion every year by and post-2030. They are nowhere near that milestone which could potentially result in postponing and potential cancelling of projects envisioned under Vision 2030. While the Saudi government has set aside substantial funds for the plan, it may not be enough to cover all the necessary costs. 
particularly considering the economic challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. Especially in the case of Mukab, Saudi Arabia has already invested a huge amount on projects like Trojina, Oxagon and the line. And to kickstart this project, they need investments from around the globe. According to current circumstances, Saudi Arabia is not in a position to build a project of this magnitude. So either it will be cancelled altogether, or a downscaled version of this project will be built. Even in this sort of recession, Saudi administration claims that the construction will start next couple of months. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has never been one to shy away from ambitious projects. But with Vision 2030, they have set their sights higher than ever before. It's a bold plan to transform the economy, and at the center of it all are a series of mega-projects that promise to usher in a new era of prosperity and modernity. The skeptics would have you believe that these mega-projects are nothing more than a flashy PR campaign to distract from deeper issues within the kingdom as the sheer scale and complexity of these projects make them virtually impossible to realize, and that the kingdom's reliance on foreign investment only adds to the uncertainty. But. Back in January this year, the kingdom silenced the skeptics by releasing the images showing progress on these projects. As part of the Giga Project's latest update, a three-minute progress film was unveiled, showcasing construction activities taking place in different regions, such as the line, Trojina, Oxagon, and Sindala. Saudi Arabia is a rich country. As of 2021, Saudi Arabia is the world's largest oil exporter, and it exports approximately 7 million barrels of oil per day. This accounts for about 16% of global oil exports. The Saudi royal family has a cumulative wealth of around $1.4 trillion. The country flourished with GDP per capita income of $32,000 according to recent reports. So the House of Saud has the capability to raise resources to pursue such ambitious projects. But now a country is facing an economic backlash, as all mono-channeled economies face. According to Reuters, the Arab world's largest economy is facing a grim future with the growth forecasted to crawl at a measly 2.6% in 2023, lagging its regional peers. This is a significant downgrade from the IMF's October projection, falling short by a staggering 1.1 percentage points. The dire state of this economy is set to cast a long shadow over the growth prospects of its neighbors. So it is the time for the country to stop putting all their eggs in one basket and established multi-channeled economic points. wanderlust filled tourists have flocked to the Middle East and North Africa in droves, drawn by the allure of ancient souks, stunning Roman ruins, and unspoiled Gulf coastlines. This region has always been a hotbed for adventurous travelers seeking the perfect blend of culture and sun-kissed skies. So Saudi Arabia decided that they will come up as the best tourist destination by 2030. Recent data from the UN's World Tourism Organization claims that the Arab world's tourism industry is undergoing a seismic shift. With Saudi Arabia at the forefront of the movement, the kingdom has emerged as the fastest growing tourism destination in the G20, with visitor numbers skyrocketing by a draw dropping 121% compared to pre-pandemic levels. This gave birth to the world-leading giga projects such as Neom, Kidia, Diria Gate and King Salman Park, which, through a blend of innovative architecture and green technologies, are rewriting the rules of sustainable development and eco-friendly tourism.